All right, my next guest has the coolest sci-fi pedigree of anyone on this planet. His father created Star Trek, and he himself has worked with NASA, the X Prize, and the Kennedy Space Center to promote space exploration. And now he's actually created a unique new sci-fi comic called Days Missing. So please welcome Rod Roddenberry to the show, everybody. Oh. 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 Where am I? Well, welcome to the Attack of the Show, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Re now, release doves. Yes. It yes. was quite the trick. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can actually appear just about anywhere. That's good. And where's the most awkward place you've beamed in or out of? Uh, I'd have to say the ladies' room. <laughs> What's that? To use the facilities or just to? Just to watch. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Casual observer. Yeah. That's good. Um, speaking of which, the plot of your new comic is, uh, no, this, uh, Days Missing. You have got this new uh, super-powered character that's a, a, a unique new character that I read the first two issues, and, and I, I love everything he's got going on, but I still quite haven't figured out what he has going on. Good, you're not supposed to. Okay, well, good. <laughs> well, it's actually a fantastic, uh, fantastic concept, and I've got to give credit where credit's due. Uh, my, my creative director, uh, Trevor Roth, actually came up with the idea, and he's got a fantastic creative team that put it together. And, um, you so know, you, you took that idea, put your name on it, now you're a billionaire. Exactly. Everybody thinks you're exactly. a genius. Exactly. Well, I just surround myself with people that are, are, are totally, like, smart. And I just sit there and just reap all the benefits. <laughs> At least you're honest uh, about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, so you, you've got this thing, and, uh, and and please tell me about the character in, in the world. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people kind of call him a superhero, but at, at Roddenberry, we really don't have superheroes. Mm -hmm. We have sort of unique characters that are put here to sort of show humanity the way, to sort of nudge us in the right direction when it's necessary. We, we don't want them to solve the problems for us, just sort of maybe give us a helping hand every now and right. then and sort of kick us in the butt and say, all right, now you've learned your lesson. All right, and you're doing something interesting. Uh, you, you, each issue uh, is actually with a different team yes. involved. So yeah. why is it that no one will work with you twice? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wanted to get as many names involved in this as possible right. and wanted to give the, the readers some diversity out there and really sort of explore what was possible. I mean, we've got five, five comic books coming out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, five plan now, but there's going to be more. Sky's I mean, the it's, limit it's, at this point. It's, yeah. it's doing well, and the yeah. reaction has been incredible to it as well. Absolutely, and I got to say, the thing I'm most proud of is that really stays true to the Roddenberry name. Mm -hmm. So it's not just science fiction. Sure. It's not just. Sure. Well, also staying true to the Roddenberry name, you you guys are out there exploring the world literally now, not just yeah. figuratively, not just on the pages. You've got the Roddenberry dive team, yeah. which isn't like a synchronized speedo thing no, in no. an Olympic pool or anything. No. What's the what's the dive? Although team we do doing? wear speedos. Oh, good. No, <laughs> good. And shave each other's legs, very manly. Exactly. Exactly. No, no, no. What 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 are you guys actually doing? I think it's an incredible. Concept. Well, I'm a I'm a passionate diver. I love the ocean. I love the environment. So I I've, the, the world of Star Trek and scuba diving have always gone hand in hand, and and. Uh, well, I mean, it's exploring strange new worlds, okay. alien I'll, life, I'll that, yeah. floating in a, in a three-dimensional kind of world. I mean, it's just fantastic. Do you put people in wedge, like red shirts and then put them out there as like we, shark We shark? actually have wetsuits and dry suits that are red shirt, you yellow shirt. They have this <laughs> you do yeah, Absolutely. We've got a red shirt dive coming up October 24th, which is a night dive on a wreck. Well, so, yeah, so, yeah. And you don't expect to see those people ever well, again. Well, we don't want to live up to the name. It's just, <laughs> uh, just a name only. All right, We're right. trying to bring everyone back. Well, I love that you know, you're know you passionate about the environment Absolutely. and about exploring it, but uh, most people don't know this about you, that you're also a humanitarian and you're passionate about animals uh, and animal rights. And I think it was uh, in 2007 or so at Comic-Con, you explained to me and expressed your, your interest and the love uh, for the panda bear. Yes, yes. Um, you look confused uh, by this this line that I was going down, but now you see where I've arrived. I, I and, do, I do. Um, we were passing the, the stuffed panda back and forth. And we were. Having a great time with it. There are you. You're showing, expressing oh, there it is. your yes. love for the panda. I, and I, I said, yes, I, I care about endangered animals as well. Um, and then and then the correct order was, was, was panda to pants to mouth. Yes, exactly. Um, but we, we, yeah, we sort good. of established this tradition of passing it back and forth. And you caught me off guard at this year's Comic-Con. You sent me a text message asking where the panda is. I didn't have a good answer for that, so I thought maybe we'd do one better and just uh -oh. bring out something a little bigger and better. So, uh, oh, so Rod, uh, he's here. The panda's here. Oh, okay. oh, I want a hug from the real one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, thank you. I don't know if you want to take him on the next dive. Thanks, thanks, panda. Right, thank <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interns aren't supposed to touch much. the talent, but all right. So, uh, if you want to one up this or take him on a dive. Please, please, you're more than welcome to. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to him for a while. We'll see. We'll see if there's places that I can put him. Uh, you have one in your mouth already. I don't know if this will fit in. No, that's just, no? you'd be surprised, my friend. You'd be surprised. Rod, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very you're a great much. Guy. Awesome. Thank you very much. You guys, do not miss Days Missing. Issues number one and two are in comic shops now. It's really amazing. And uh, now we boldly go where pretty much every man has gone before. Miss Olivia Munn.